I was once the girl in every class that just never had a boyfriend. And come Valentine's Day, everybody around me had gifts, baskets full of stuff and balloons and all that. And I was just there thinking, man, you guys waste a lot of money on this useless nonsense. Okay, Valentine's Day is beautiful. Yeah, 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 gift giving, showing your love. But I do feel that there are a couple of gifts that should never be considered gifts. Teddy bears, roses, and balloons. Let's start off with the teddy bear. So, you bought me this, this thing. I can't eat it. It doesn't pay my tuition. It doesn't really make me happy because after a few days, I'm gonna forget I have it. Oh wait, no I'm not because it's gonna be hogging the space in my room because it's gigantic. What am I supposed to do with this trash? I just don't understand why people spend so much money on gigantic teddy bears and all it's good for is collecting dust because you can't do anything with it are you gonna sleep with it like how's it gonna fit on your bed it's clogging up my space it's clogging up my mind it's too big even if it was small it's too big it's, there's no purpose to it roses okay you got me a plant um what did you expect me to do with this plant so what you guys are okay with is your boyfriend slash girlfriend going outside in the wilderness, picking up an organism, killing it because it's slowly dying since you picked it up from, you know, its, its source of, of nutrients. What am I supposed to do with this besides watch it die? Balloons. You're giving me a sack of helium. For what? Whenever I saw a balloon on Valentine's Day for high school and middle school, I'm just like, this is such a superficial relationship. Obviously you don't need a freaking balloon to tell your boyfriend or girlfriend that you love them. You would definitely give them something that has a little bit more depth than just a ball of helium after which it will deflate and then what happens? I could have bought something useful with that money instead of buying some foolishness balloon. What am I gonna do with a balloon? What? I can't sell it, can't eat it, I can't. It's not, it's not gonna do my homework. It's not making me happy. It's a balloon. Am I, am I four? If you really want to give your significant other a very nice gift, use that money that you're gonna waste on bears and roses that you can't eat and balloons that do nothing. Use that money and allocate them to, let's say, a dinner. Food. Every single girl, especially millennial girls, we love Food. If you go on our Facebooks or Snapchats and stuff or Instagram, you'll blatantly see a whole bunch of pictures of ourselves, first of all, and then you'll see a lot of pictures of food. So come on, use your sense. She likes food. Let's give her food. You could take her anywhere, and it doesn't really have to be expensive. My boyfriend took me to Chili's, and that wasn't because he was being cheap. It's because we I've never been to Chili's before, so that was really thoughtful of him to give me that experience, you know and to pay for it, so that was even more thoughtful. Take your girl out, your boy out to a place that they've never been before. Take them to a childhood place that they forgot totally existed. Just do something memorable, do something with value, because that stuff is really valuable right there. More valuable than a freaking bear. And if you can't afford a dinner for any reason, then cook. When I think of my fantasy date, have my man and I, and he just cooked me up a huge plate of delicious food, all my favorites, and we're sitting down and watching this amazing Japanese drama, but it was so, it's so good that the episodes are about an hour long, so if you're planning on making money that day, um, you're not going to because that's an hour long of your life, but it's a really, really good drama. I'll link it to you so you guys can watch. Oh my gosh, it deals with debt and people are killing themselves over debt. It's a good drama. You, you guys should watch it. Once I know the name, I'll tell you. We're just chilling, eating, watching a drama. We're just being together and that stuff is valuable to me. I like his time and I like how he incorporated all my favorites and we're also watching a movie that he probably would never watch if it weren't for me because he's not really into that stuff. But you know, he's giving me his time and I really value that and I appreciate that more than I would a freaking stuffed animal. In fact, I'd appreciate if he gave me toilet paper instead of a stuffed animal because what am I supposed to do with an animal when I have to wipe my butt at two o'clock in the morning? At that time, I'm pretty sure toilet paper trumps 
romance, romantic gifts, nonsense. And if you don't know how to cook, that was a, that was a slight tangent, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and if you don't know how to cook, then use your resources. There's a whole bunch of cooking tutorials online, cookbooks online. There's this channel called Tasty by BuzzFeed. Perfect video explanations of what to do, simple recipes. It's really, really ideal for people who don't know how to cook. Like myself. Fight! So really, when you're thinking of what to get your girl, think about the things that she actually likes, the things that she actually uses, or the things that she appreciates in life and incorporate that into a gift or multiple gifts. You really don't have to cut off an arm and a leg. You don't have to take out a loan just to provide for your girl slash boy on this magical romantic day. Sometimes if she's a keeper, all she wants really is your time. I mean, money's a close second, but you know, your time is it's a lot more valuable to a girl that really, really loves you. For all you people that are single, God bless, you guys have the easiest life in the world. You don't have to pay anything. You can use that money and invest it in yourself, in your college fees, and stop wasting money. If you're still confused on what to get your significant other, sometimes just ask them, see what they say. And then don't get it. Be like, oh, you really wanted that, didn't you? Okay, maybe not do that. Don't, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Bye!